friends, thank you for tuning in to Shelby Artist's YouTube channel today. It is great to have you here, and I hope that you are doing well. Today's video is titled Path, The Pathway to Success after Joyce Meyer's book, The Pathway to Success. So I'm going to read her description of the message and I'm also going to show you with some props the actual books and what they look like. I am promoting this even though I haven't read it I am excited to share this with you as well as to read it myself. I have read books from Joyce Meyer previously such as Be Joyful and The Battlefield of the Mind Okay, <laughs> um, I have more books by Joyce Meyer that I've shown in another video titled My Personal Book Collection. If you would like to see that, I can go ahead and um, provide a link to that book collection video at the end of this one. So let's get started. Let's discover a new path to success together. Dear Shelby, or dear viewers, one of the things Dave and I love to do is pray for you on a regular basis. You're a special friend to the ministry <laughs> and it brings us joy to pray for your success. And when I say success, I'm not just talking about making a lot of money, a fancy job title, or fame and recognition. There's absolutely nothing wrong with any of those things, but there are a lot of people the world would consider successful who are miserable and unfulfilled. Success isn't about chasing worldly, temporal things. God wants you to succeed in everything he calls and equips you to do. Pursuing the things God calls you to do, the desires he has placed in your heart, is what leads to success and fulfillment. And the reason is simple. God's plan for you is better than anything you can imagine. So says the Bible. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. If we spend our lives chasing after earthly possessions or the recognition from others, it leads to exhaustion and frustration, and it often ends in disappointment. Are you exhausted? Frustrated? Disappointed? That's not the life Jesus came to give you. Yahshua told us, or Jesus, in John 10, 10, which is one of my favorite scriptures. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. God wants you to succeed. He wants you to enjoy an abundant, overflowing life. According to Psalm 23, my cup overflows because the Lord is my shepherd. That's the life Jesus came to give you. I have a brand new book on this subject. I'm thrilled to tell you about it in a moment. But in order to enjoy the life Jesus came to give us, we must follow God's pathway to success, not our own. If you've ever wished you were further along in life than you currently are, trust me, I know how frustrating this can be. After I began seriously walking with the Lord, 
I felt a calling to teach his word. I knew that's what I wanted to do. During that time, I tried a lot of different things. I organized a group of people to put gospel tracks under car windshields. I tried street evangelism on weekends. I took a job as the church secretary. That only lasted one day. I even tried working in the church nursery. That didn't last long either. When I read this for the first time, I laughed because I can say those same things. None of those things were my ultimate goal in life, but God used them and many other things to teach me about how to achieve success his way. Now, as I look back on my journey, I am so glad for all that God has taught me. I wouldn't trade those memories and lessons for anything. Your desire, the dream in your heart may be much different from mine. God has created us all uniquely with different ideas of success in life. To you, success might be to own a business, to raise amazing children or grandchildren, to lead worship, or to write a book about something you're passionate about. It doesn't matter what your dream is. As long as you know God wants you to do it, Success is doing whatever we do for God and doing it in a way that pleases him and brings glory to him. So let me ask you, what is your idea of success in life? What has God put in your heart to accomplish? Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it isn't going to happen. You may be in street evangelism phase of your journey or the secretary phase or the nurse worker, the nursery worker phase. I'll pray for you if you are, but don't waste a single step on your pathway. God is teaching you, developing you and preparing you for what he has planned for your future. Even if you feel that you have veered onto the wrong pathway, God sees your heart. And he will gently guide you back onto the right one. God is bigger than our mistakes or our disappointments. He knows how to get us to the destination he has in store for us. All we have to do is trust him. The word of God gives you this promise. Being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. It says Philippians 1 6 in the New King James Version. Don't be discouraged if the success you've hoped for in life hasn't happened yet. And don't give up when it looks like the circumstances are stacked against you. Be confident of this very thing. God will complete what he has started. He loves you and he has a wonderful plan for your life. As I mentioned before, I have a brand new book that I'm so excited to send you. It's filled with all the things God has taught me about true success over the years. In the pathway to success, I share what the word of God says about the true definition of success, how to make sure your dream is from God, what to do in a season of waiting, 
the lessons God taught me over the years as I pursued his calling on my life. How to handle success when it comes your way. And so much more. And we want to send you my new book, Free Upon Request, as our thank you for your faithful prayers and generous support to our ministry. Along with the pathway to success, I want you to have a special five year hardcover journal that we've created. The five-year journal is a beautiful complement to my new book, allowing you to write out your hopes, dreams, prayers, and the things God is speaking to you and teaching you. It has blank journal lines for writing pages as well as dates already on them, <laughs> which is great. I have to write in my dates in my journal, so dates provided is really good. Again, here's the five-year journal that comes with. The pathway to success. Free. Upon request. Along with the pathway to success, I want you to have a special five-year hardcover journal that we've created. Okay, I already said that. Already. You write in the journal what God is speaking to you on this pathway to success. When you look back at the days and the weeks, the months and the, even the years, you'll be amazed at how far God has brought you and what he has done in and through your life. You can request both of these resources as part of the Finding Success God's Way package. See the enclosed reply form for more information. This was a mailer. I received. So I, I'm, apparently I'm on her mailing list. Okay. And she continually sends out mailers like this for new books. She is the most generous pastor I have ever known in my life. I don't know her, but you know, she's, she's very consistent and you know, that is a quality that really impresses me. So, also, <laughs> generosity, okay. So she has both of those great qualities that really impress me. Consistency and generosity. This is why I like Joyce Meyer. Thank you for prayerfully considering what God would have you give to the ministry today. She does welcome donations of any amount. Your gift makes it possible to share the word of God all around the world. Because of your compassionate heart, millions of hurting people will feel the love of Christ and hear the word of God. Many for the first time. Dave and I love you. Dave is Joyce Meyer's husband. We are so grateful for your prayers and your encouragement. Pastors are people too. Like I told you when I began this letter, we pray for you on a regular basis. And we are so excited for what God is going to do in this next season of your life. Praying for you, Dave and Joyce Meyer. P.S. Shelby, or your name. God has you on the pathway of success, his success, okay? So enjoy every single step of the journey. He's going to take you to amazing places. Be sure to request. The Finding Success God's Way package, which includes my brand new book, The Pathway to Success. I know this resource is going to encourage you.